One of the really cool ways to find important and interesting articles on Google Scholar is through their metrics page. And here you'll see the top publications or journals they have um, in, across all categories. Uh, of course, what you're probably going to want to do is find your specific category that's most relevant to your interests and see what you can find in there in, in your area. So I'm, of course, interested in education. It's going to be in the social sciences. And it'll likely be a subcategory then for what I'm typically interested in, which is educational technology. So I'm going to go into that. And here it's going to show me the top journals, at least in terms of their um, frequency of being cited, their H index. Um, and here you see about 20 of them. And of course, these are all outstanding. The cool thing now is, what you can do is you can actually click on their H index, and they're going to actually give you the ones that are the um, most highly cited in that particular journal. So now I've got the top journal and the top most cited article in that journal. Um, and I can kind of browse through here, and this gives you a good sense of what people think is um, important of late. So now I could actually even scroll down even more and say, okay, here's the top article. Who's citing the top article? But that gets a little bit too far down. But here you can start to see um, some valuable uh, references for articles um, in your particular field. And then, of course, recent ones that are citing that. You'll notice that most of these are in 2013, 2014, so we're uh, five or six years back. This gets refreshed, I believe, each summer or um, late spring. And then it'll basically go up a new um, to the more recent, but these are essentially the ones that are the most highly cited um, last year of 2018. Um, but of course, the articles were published prior to that, but these are the ones that were most highly cited in 2018.